up everybody? It's fucking New Tech Tuesday, where I'm here to talk to you about some technology, whether it's new or not, it's new to me, and I wanna share it with the world. So today, we're gonna to talk about something that I'm sure you know about, but maybe you haven't used before. And I've been using it a fuck ton lately, so I wanna share it with you, because I love it. And that is Zoom webinars. Now, for those of you who know or don't know, I run the Jersey City Tech Meetup. And before this pandemic hit, I was doing monthly in-person events, networking, panel discussions, covering different topics in tech, and it's fucking awesome. I love it. The camaraderie, the community, the fun. It's just a good old time. And then little old COVID hit and uh, couldn't do that anymore for a hot minute. So I had to switch to a virtual platform. And now, while you can just use regular Zoom and just host meetings, all of your attendees are gonna be on the screen, right? And then people might pop off and mute and turn the video on. If you have 50 attendees to a meeting, chances are they're not all gonna be well behaved or follow instructions very clearly. So I found that trying to host an event by just doing a Zoom meeting doesn't really work because everyone's on the screen. I just want my panelists and then the attendees uh, just watching. So I tried out Zoom webinar and the, it is it is a paid feature, so you need the business account and the webinar add-on. So it's that's total fifty five dollars a month. So when you're doing these, I recommend charging for your events, so you just cover your costs, and then you have this awesome functionality for free, and you're profitable. Um, the fun thing about it is there's a lot of great features about the Zoom webinar. Um, I really like that you have your panels your panelists on um, just one screen with you. So it's just you and your panelists. Or if it's, you know, if you're just hosting an online event, it could just be you and your presentation, whatever it is. And you could have up to a hundred uh, attendees with the the Zoom webinar add-on for the original one. I think there's one you could upgrade to 500 or a thousand, whatever it is, but that's more money. For the one I'm talking about, it's a hundred. So you could have up to a hundred people, not all crowding the space, so the focus is on you and that awesome value you bring to the people. Now, that's what I fucking love about it. And then you can, you can add your panelists, whatever it may be, and have a discussion. And it's just like an in-person event, except for the awesome stuff about in-person events. Mm -hmm. Don't remind me, we'll get back to it soon enough. But um, it's great, you could have your audience uh, kind of have a chat and do some networking through there. You know, I like to, personally introduce in the beginning that, you know, the chats for networking. So whatever networking we, part we would have in our in-person events, now that's the chat. So introduce yourself, keep the discussion going, keep the dialogue. There's Q and A functionality so they can jump in and drop their questions and you could answer them live, either yourself or with the panelists. You could drop a poll in there um, and you could charge for the event. Um, so that's what I love about it. You could integrate PayPal directly into it and uh, charge. The one thing that I would recommend to Zoom uh, that they could improve would be for the charge events to um, actually allow for discounted or free tickets. Because with this, the only way you can give away free tickets is if they're a panelist. So the workaround would be inviting your friends on as panelists and then demoting them to attendee once it starts, but that's kind of a clunky workaround. So I believe there's an integration with Eventbrite and in Eventbrite you could definitely do free and discounted tickets for you know people in certain communities or family, friends, whatever it is. But yeah, all in all, I've been using Zoom webinars for the past few months for my virtual events. I've, it really is seamless and just easy to use and it's been very fun and allowed me to continue my passion while making it all virtual. So highly recommend Zoom webinars. If you don't do it today, um, feel free to reach out to me, let me know how I can help you get all set up and then you can do your, in, uh, your virtual events and have a good time with it. So that's my new Tech Tuesday for the week. Hope you enjoyed it. Love y'all and I'll talk to you soon. Peace. <laughs>